what's happening to a lot of people in the church, amen, of uh, the leadership has a lid on themselves. And they want to keep you under the lead. Uh-huh. And the thing called the law of the lead. Uh-huh. Come on, say amen. Jesus, Father. And that when the law is, praise God, amen, they don't want to see you go no higher uh-huh. than themselves. Yes. Not realizing, praise God, if you raise up leaders uh-huh. where you are weak, they'll make you look strong. Yes. Come on, say amen. Amen. But see, a lot of leaders don't know who they are. Okay. Come on, say amen. Amen. As king. Ah, Somebody say amen. amen. If he only worked with David, yes. he would became greater. Yes. He would have lost his position. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. So I say to you, Pastor, amen, and thank you, praise God. Amen. Oh, if you want the church to grow, raise up the leaders. Yes. Yes, sir. Anybody. Anybody. This is a sideway note here. Yes, sir. Anybody get to know somebody to follow. Come on now. <laughs> Say that. Say that, Okay, uh, okay. Somebody give me no amen. I didn't amen. Uh, 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 anybody can get somebody uh-huh. to follow them. Amen. amen. A crackhead can get a crackhead to follow them. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, amen. But the church, amen. Uh, uh, little people who are coming up, sometimes we just want followers. Uh-huh. Come on, say amen. Amen. And you step back into the work, and I can lay hand on you and pray for you, amen. When you step back into the work, amen, make up your mind, pray God, I'm going to grow me some leaders. Yeah, yeah. amen. Come on, Apostle. And your ministry is going to explode. So I say amen. amen. But know who you are. Yeah. Know that God has called you. Yeah. Know that God has positioned you, praise God, to raise up leaders in your house. Yeah. yeah. So I say amen. 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 So we see Saul had lost his throne long before David took over. Uh-huh. Amen. Like it or not, position does not make a person a leader. It just does not. Oh, okay, no. Amen. 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 Praise God. I know a lot of people, they want to get in position. Praise God. They want to get all the th- Now, I heard someone say, I heard someone say that uh, 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 they don't like title. But see, but see uh, really what we have, see, you have a gift. The apostleship is a gift. Come on. So I say that. The teacher is a gift. Come on, Amen. And, and, and the apostle is going to read that in Ephesians 4 chapter. And he goes, I don't tell you that God gave these gifts to the church, but he gave them with a purpose. Come on, Apostle. Come on, Apostle. Teacher. Come on, say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, a title may give someone authority, but it won't give you no influence. Come on, say amen. Amen. But people still will follow you. Amen. 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 Jesus told this, told him, told him, the first disciples he chose, they were professional fishermen. Uh-huh. So I say amen. amen. And he influenced them by telling them, follow me and I will make you fishermen of men. You want to tell your people, amen, follow me and I'll follow Christ and I will make you. Great in God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Ain't nobody gonna follow you, praise God, if all they gotta do is follow you. <laughs> yes. if, they, if all they got all they gotta do is just follow you, walk behind you, praise God, they don't know where they're going or what you're doing. Somebody say amen. amen. If they don't see nothing in it for them, they're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, is anybody here listening to me? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be very brief, amen, praise God, because uh, for last few days you have enough stuff poking over you. The lack of lifetime. And I hope you had it recorded because my God, so much was spoken to her life. So I say amen. I'm just putting the ice on it. I'm just closing out. I'm just putting the, the apostle anointed upon it. Let the cap this thing off. So I say amen. 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 Uh, influence uh, come from the person. It, to influence come t- from the person, it must be earned. Uh-huh. For influence, amen, to come go forth and bless people, you have to earn it. Yeah. I love this, amen, praise God, and as a leader, praise God, amen, you must grow in order for your people to yeah. grow. Amen. 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 Uh, 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 Pastor John, big and chef, amen, praise God, amen, in order for divine divinity to multiply and to grow, praise God, amen, you two have to always keep growing. Yeah. 
Amen. Oh, come on now. I know, I know, I know this is good. Amen. Because uh, you don't have to constantly be reading. Uh-huh. Constantly be studying. Yes. You gotta constantly, praise God, find new ministries, praise God, and spread gospel and others, praise God, that I'm gonna introduce you to, praise God, that can be a model for you. Yes, amen. Oh, so I say amen. amen. Because I'm gonna tell you like this, and I found this out in all my years of pastor to 1989, praise God. Amen. When you only fellowship with, with people at your level. Uh-huh. See, after a while, amen, all you gotta do is swap stories. Yeah.
You can't tell me. You can't convince me that God will bless you. Yeah. Amen. And he will give it. Because he said clearly, I love. Yeah, so I'm going to say amen. amen. Now let's talk about why this goes out here right now. Get to the business of what we're here for. Amen. Why is this so? Why, praise God, was David so blessed? Amen. The first thing that David did, amen, and remember this, and I'm going to say this to you, Pastor John, amen. The first thing that David did, there was unity amongst the people. Uh -huh. David rallied the people and created unity. Uh -huh. Are you in here? Yes, sir. And a house divided cannot stand. So I say amen. We got a motto here, friend God, that Prophet Charles gave to us. Amen. That is, friend God, who no in this house there is no friendly fight. Amen. So I say amen. Amen. In the military, see, in the military, when there ain't no war zone, friend God, a lot of times, amen, the more people get killed on friendly fire. Uh-huh. So I say amen. amen. In other words, friend God, you are in the wrong position and, and they are fine behind you and they are killing all people. 